Hello everybody, welcome back to Sin Iron Man. Now, what happened last time? Simple. We got a lot of things done. Yes, we did. We got a, a, a mercenary disguise, we got expert tools, we got a KS-23, we have this badass piece of equipment right here. And my buddy, him right there, has my old Chimera Hunter. So, it's a very simple world, right? One second. Let me just check the uh, tasks. Oh, I can turn that in, actually. Hell yeah. I need I need artifacts. Last week was not last week, but an atom. Another one. Hey, nice. Let me just sacrifice it. And look at that, 84%. Amazing. I, I'm pretty. Oh yeah, I slept. I slept. All right. Um. So what are we up to? Let's see. Honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. We have to call mutants. I'm not going to do that. Like, no, I'm not going to. We're gonna go to army warehouses. Yes, we are. Um, we can probably repair our armor one more time, though, before that, just to confirm it as, like, a good disguise. Just for the record, I turned off, um, having to run, like, having to walk while in disguise. I think it's personally kind of stupid. If I'm wearing my disguise, I should be able to run. Like, so, I, my disguise will not be broken if I'm running. Listen, it's just, a, it's a stupid rule. Like, honestly, that's it. It's just a stupid rule. So I changed it. So with that said, we're gonna buy um, any armor repair kits. I think I'm in the wrong trader for this. Let's see. Uh, let's do. I mean, that's four grand. That's a little better. Now let's do a tube of that, right? And now let's use a... I want to be able to. Uh... That's not a good sound. Now is it? I'm just gonna repair it both times, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna. Because now it's 100%. It, I'm full. I'm in full disguise. Like, that's the way I see it. I'm in full disguise. Ecologist killed. Si oh. Is that a body? No. Hmm. That's not good. That is quite bad, actually. I do have better armor on for uh, combat. The smirk armor is better than my coat. So I am better prepared for combat, but I don't want to... We're just gonna go. Sorry I'm being quiet, I'm just trying to listen. Um also, I, I've been watching back my videos. My mic is a problem. I'm going to replace it. You have my word that I'm going to replace it. Because I also want to replace it. It affects me talking to my friends, even. Um, I'm going to get a wired mic soon enough, and that'll just fix the problem. This one, is I thought it was good at first. The audio quality is quite nice. It's a whole headset, but um it's not good enough honestly i'm not a fan of it anymore especially with all the cutting out like n i've never had a headset a wireless headset do this to me before so honestly i'm kind of pissed off about it I, I you know i spent good money on this right so why is it doing this i've been through every fix every fix i could possibly have tried i have attempted and it, nothing works so who's that Oh, that's a pseudo dog. Or a side dog, one of the two. 
No one here, right? We're all we're all good. Everyone's fine. We're all kosher. Okay. Cool. All right, let's go. Ooh, I see that. Look at that. Or is that just the electro? Never mind. I'm playing this like I'm trying. I just actually got done playing Tarkov with a friend tonight. <laughs> so I'm like trying to hold, like, peek around things, thinking I'm going to move at full speed. That's not the case. That's not how it works. So there's uh, some duty I have to kill in um, army warehouses. It'll be a lot easier to do that when I uh, am in disguise and have temporary allies. So yeah, this is our first time going south of the border or the barrier. Our very, very first time. Look at this, it's right there. Now, I believe if he sees me do this... Okay, with this outfit, most stalkers will assume you're part of the mercenary community. So see here at the top right, it shows the mercenary patch, and it shows that I am a mercenary. So with that said, it's time to go undercover. This is going to be fun. Alright, well, oh, what the fuck is that? Well, army warehouses... Nice! Oh, dogs. Hey! Thanks, though. Appreciate it. <laughs> I love how your companions do pretty, like, they're programmed to basically not hurt you. It's honestly pretty great. So here's what we're gonna do. Mercenaries are friends with freedom. So, we are going to try and infiltrate the Freedom Base to get some work. That's a side field right there, by the way. I learned that the hard way in my first time in Army Warehouses. So, my obviously monolith buddy here is not going to actually be an enemy. If you're undercover... Your allies are just considered undercover with you, which I find really funny, actually. Who is that? Let's give it a let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh wait, was that not the case? No, that's a loner. I'm a mercenary. I'm so stupid. Oh shit. Is that gatekeeper? Oh, son of a bitch. Come on. Don't worry, Freedom. I'll, I'll be over there hang out with you guys soon. Gatekeeper's somewhere up there, but he's supposed to... Gatekeeper's supposed to be neutral, I thought. Oh, this guy's, like, dead over here. Yep. It feels good to actually just be fighting, like, loners. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really, really good. Because, oh my god, I could be fighting, you know, anyone up north of army warehouses, which is terrifying. To shoot someone a few times and actually, like, kill them is kind of insane, honestly. Oh, I need that multi-tool. I'll get one from Freedom. Because Freedom and Mercs are on good terms. It's just loners that don't like Mercs. But also, another really good thing, bandits are okay with mercs as well. 
which oh my god makes that so so much better i was thinking about actually doing a mercenary playthrough before starting my freedom playthrough i'm just i'm a fan of freedom i'm a freedom enjoyer you know what i mean i mean look at my look at my character i'm literally freedom i love freedom as a faction it's just really cool i don't want your full payment i want to have you as my bodyguard Another good thing about Homeboy here, he'll act as my dinner bell. In case anyone I think, you know, oh yeah, we're in disguise. Hit the marker for his, like, thing is off again. That's so weird. What's this? Oh, that's where the, uh, oh wait, uh, I might breach my disguise if it's an ally. Alright, so this is going to be scary. Because although I'm 100% ar like, armor quality... So far, so good. No one's angry. Why? I'm in disguise. Is it? Are they reacting to my monolith, buddy? Oh, because he- I don't think he's part of my party. I think he's literally just a follower. I think that's what's going on. Not- not a follower, you know what I mean. Just can- can they kill him? I'm just gonna let him die if that's the case. But I was fine, right? They didn't fight me until... Like, are they okay with me, just not him? Is that what's going on? I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, okay, look, they're fine with me. That's so weird. Oh, he had my stuff, though! <laughs> I can't carry all this. I guess I'll just pick up someone who's not, you know, monolith. It's probably a start, right? Wait a minute. No! The helmet's broken because he added it. Wait, what? Wait, that makes no sense. I repaired this. You remember last episode? I repaired this thing. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know about that one. That's a little dumb. That's that's kind of stupid. All right. Well, I'm gonna actually utilize Freedom Stash in here. Please don't shoot me. Like, please. Please. Okay. Alright, I'm a merc. <laughs> I'm a merc. We lost our friend, but... It's okay. Wow, it feels so surreal to be back here as a sin. It took a long time. It took a long time to get to this point where I can, like, you know, infiltrate. But here we are. Here we are. That helmet was repaired! That's so annoying. That's like actually really frustrating. Mm -hmm. All that away. This. I'm gonna have to buy a stash and place it somewhere neutral where I'm not just stuck in the space. Like having to sort through stuff like this. Okay, I'm gonna go. You know what's crazy? I think I can actually change factions on in disguise. Meaning, like, I probably could just leave Sin. <laughs> but I, that would that would ruin the playthrough, in my opinion. That would be so stupid, and I'm not going to do that. Also, traders aren't like inherently hostile towards you, so you can kind of just do whatever with them. I skin point. He uh, sells NATO stuff for the most part, so I'm not actually going to get any ammo from my gun here. That is one problem with freedom, is that like the ammo I need for my weapon, 7.62 by 39, I'm not going to find here. But you know what I can do? Work, work, work. I actually like... Garbage, ugh. I actually can accept jobs, like for, you know, 
from more than just sin in Monolith, where it's every day is something, you know, extremely, uh, dangerous. I can do this. I can do that. Oh my god, real easy. Real easy. Again, since my armor is 100%, like, the chances of, like, getting discovered here are so low, it's almost impossible. Hello, buddy. Alright, well... My god. Dude, the second I started getting shot at, I slammed pause. I was like, oh my god, we're dead. Like, I didn't know what to do. Because this game doesn't give you... <laughs> okay. This game does not give you any second to breathe. So you need to, like, in my opinion at least, you need to pause the game to get that second to, like, figure out what the hell's going on. Alright, it's over here. I wish I had a follower. I wish I had, like, some guy who's just following me. Hell no. Hell no, I won't be fucking giving you a hand. Fuck you, man. Oh, that's a bandit. We're just gonna we're just gonna be working for freedom at this free, you know what I mean? Why not? Working for freedom. The enemy of my enemy is still my enemy. I love this goofy little dudeo post literally right outside Freedom's base. Oh god, what? I was not taking a chance. Oh my god. The second he noticed me, I was like, he's, I have to shoot him? <laughs> like, now. Now, I technically should take this to use as a duty disguise, which is actually better because I'm, I become friends with loners. Oh my god. Those are always so high, do they actually ever hit you? Like, I feel like they don't. But it's fine, Freedom is still liked down south. Freedom is- wait. No, I'm Mercs, that right, I should take a duty disguise. Yeah, I should. Because in garbage, duty is like, a fine faction to have. You're friends with loners, you're friends with, uh... Duty themselves. You're friends with the military too, that's an added bonus. It's a bandit, right? Yes. Oh yeah, right, I forgot, you can actually ask bandits no for, uh, you can pay them for escort squads. So one of the biggest problems with Monolith and Sin is that, you know, you can only work for Monolith and Sin, and as you can saw, as you saw earlier, you know, in the playthrough, 
that's fine, you know, it's not like bad. You're not like screwed, it's just, you know, you, you have to work a lot harder. I also believe at the bottom of um, my screen, it'll show like a green like uh, equal sign, and that's like when they're starting to like suspect I am in disguise. I believe that's what that means. So I'm gonna put this here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it up, and I'm gonna utilize it for uh, going down more south than army warehouses in Dead City. This room is terrifying. Hi, Luke Cash. Easy. My reputation has improved. Nice. I wonder, uh, where can I see that? It's, um, if I remember correctly... Not here. Um, here. Right. There I am. <laughs> Mercenary. It, like, the way disguises in this game work... You literally become that faction when you're in disguise. Like, that, that's just how it works. Okay, so I have to kill the duty members over here, which kind of sucks. I wish I had, like, the squad. I could hire the bandit as an escort squad, but that bandit wasn't having any of it, so... I could always disguise myself as duty and just go over there and then shoot him in the back of the head, but... I don't want to. I don't want to fix up the armor just to do that because then I'm going to have to disguise and then these guys will shoot me because now I'm a duty member. But the fact that I'm even able to disguise right now is great. Loners still hate me though and there's there's you know, there's sometimes loners here or there. But I also want to go to Dead City because Dead City I can now work for the Mercs. I would have preferred a Freedom Disguise because Freedom... Um, is basically mercenary with like one more ally i think yeah free it, freedom is mercenary but friends with loners right it doesn't really help me in this situation they already see me from here it doesn't really help me in this situation unfortunately if i die i'm dead i can't i can't load so you know oh shit Okay, that's one guy. Ooh, that sounds like a crazy gun. Oh, is that? Oh, that's a legendary ecologist just walking around over there. What the hell? That was a trainee duty member. Got him. Oh, not that fucking guy. Got it. Nice. Oh, look at those missions. Look at that. I think there's still one more guy though, right? I like how I'm still Sinner Sinclair though on the BDA. It's so funny. So, oh, that's that. All right, I think I'm good. That did, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was actually coming over here. I was planning to start chucking nades. Didn't end up happening, obviously, but hey, you know, I'll take it. That's the ecologist. Legendary ecologist. Oh, this is what he had. Ooh, that's pretty good, but ooh, a heavy duty armor. Mm, I'm taking it. I will take that, sir. What's this? Oh, Vera skin. That's really good. That's going on my belt. It's not in a great condition, but oh my god, is it still Bureau skin? Damn it, where was it? There it is. Ooh, that's not good. That's not a good sound. That gives me extra defense and carry weight. That's really, really good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I don't take kindly to people pointing guns at me that aren't a sinner monolith, because, like, that actually terrifies the shit. There's someone in the hills shooting up here, is that... I don't know. Whoa. 
Glow stick. Oh. Okay, that's done. But there's a problem. I'm just gonna be stuck in a room with these people. in great condition though so it should be fine if i don't get attacked and nothing crazy happens i'm just gonna skip the emission so at the moment treat it as a normal emission if it cuts then nothing nothing happened i will see you soon all right the emission is cleared i keep pressing c and also, uh, that one NPC killed, literally killed the mutants for me, so... Great. Oh, come on! Really? Okay. That was a little unnecessary. Actually, speaking of which... Do one of these... There we go. If my game crashes, I am not waiting out that emission again. I'm gonna- I love the way this game looks after a mission. I'm gonna go report back to Freedom, collect my payment, then go to, uh, Dead City. To see what the mercs have going on. I'm even now south of the border, or the barrier, as a Sin member is pretty crazy. This is what I wanted to do with Monolith. Once I found good enough tools to build a disguise, I was going to come south, but it, it just it just never happened. And here we are, it's happening. This is the longest Iron Man playthrough I've ever been able to do, and it feels awesome. It feels so good. Hopefully it, it remains. I mean, I have good armor, I have good weapons. I have good money and good money resources, and I can go up north to Monolith territory without being shot. If I can find an ecologist disguise, I become the safest uh, character in the zone, basically. Because you cannot disguise a Sin or Monolith, but by god you can disguise as them, and that is the next best thing. Just go outside. Are you serious? Come, come close. Please come close, whatever. I should go artifact hunting because of the storm. Job is done. Nice. Good money. Good money. Job is done. Sharpening stone set. I mean, not really what I wanted, but I'll take it. Look at the stashes. I gotta search some of these. I've already been there. I could search here, too. What's my money situation? Look at that. 30 grand. Plus, I have this armor, too, which is awesome. The only problem is I can't sleep in these places. When I wake up, I'll be discovered. I've tried it once in another playthrough. It doesn't work. I can, I can repair this. And south of here, it, it's amazing. I'll basically be able to, like, go anywhere. I can go all the way to Corden. Freedom is solemnly south of here. Um, duty's everywhere. And I can go to Rostock with that. And Rostock, oh my god. Rostock is the money city. I You make so much money working in Rostock, it's actually unbelievable. Plus, I kind of have to go to Rostock, because I need to uh, buy ammo for my gun. Ooh, here's where the weather, or the sky gets all crazy. I love this. Like, look at this. Look how cool this looks. Come on. Look at that. That's sick. 
It's, that just looks so cool, man. Thanks to Lucifer's help, I can just run everywhere I want to run. Oh yeah, hold on, I forgot. I should be keeping this out. Oh, that's my waypoint. I was like, wait, why is there a marker here? I don't even know where that was. I'll take all of this, why not? Look at the bandages I have, oh my god. I can't believe I died. I almost died so early into the playthrough when I shot that zombie with the artifact that makes it so like they blow up when I shoot them. I almost died. That was the most nerve-wracking thing that I think has ever freaking happened to me. Eh, maybe not the most, but definitely up there. All right, Mercs, Mercs, Mercs. I am you. I'm literally you. Like I'm literally you. Also, this radiation that is awful here actually doesn't really affect me because uh, I have the best gas mask in the game on. Utility. Best utility gas mask in the game. Why are things getting blown up over there? Come on. Any of you guys at work? I need gun cleaning solvent. Oh, screw you, man. I do need to go this way, though, because of the stashes here. But I don't know who's fighting who here. I might have to leave if things get too hairy. Dude, look at this little village with the mod in the EMB. It looks insane. Not EMB. Fucking reshade. I'm calling it EMB like I'm playing Skyrim. Can I climb the stupid little fence? I'll take all that. Why not? I'll come back for that. I don't want to get too deep into this place and die by like a fireball or something stupid. All right, let's go to Dead City. Let's do some more jobs for the mercs, make some more money. We're behind enemy lines now, we're undercover. Oh, and it feels so good, it's so cool. All right, let's get out of here. To Dead City we go. Proving ground anomaly. Dead City. You know what's crazy? When um, I don't know if you guys had had a similar experience, but when I first played this game, and I like what I did was I opened my map, I zoomed out, and I looked at every area from like you know a geographical standpoint. And I just remember looking at places you know like dead city like from a distance like chernobyl lamansk and i used to think to myself oh my god you know what the hell is there that place seems scary that place seems super cool that you know this and that then i got to dead city and i realized it's just fucking the mercs clubhouse basically i'm not gonna lie i was actually really disappointed i was like man i i really expected this place to be like some horror zone or whatever based on the name but no it's it was a cut. It was a cut area from, uh, I believe, Shadow of Chernobyl, and uh, it was meant to always. It was meant to be Freedom's base, actually. That's what the original, like, you know, that's what the original plan for it was supposed to be. All right, so now that I'm in here. I'm gonna do one of these. Oh, I can totally do that one. We can totally do this one, too. I think we will. Military and army warehouses. What? I'm not killing Monolith. That would be a terrible idea, given my current situation. 
Oh, I can totally do this, and I can totally do this. All right. Job's done. Nice money. Oh, come back. I want to turn in my quest. Bro, you just ran through that fence. Take my- take it, thank you, thank you, okay. Is there any artifacts I'd be able to, like, do around here? Or, like, see? I don't think so. I need to constantly be on the lookout to feed my friggin' cool artifacts. Oh yeah, this is spring cleaning. I could do that. Why not? Ah, oh, I could totally do that. That one update that lets you actually um see how much items you have for the quest that you were given. That is such a good update. Go up the stairs, man. Move out of my way. All right. Job's done. Poacher. So only seven grand, whatever. Um, alright, cool. There's Oslin, he's basically the Merc leader, the Merc commander, whatever you want to call him. I don't these guys won't sell 762 either. They're NATO, obviously. I mean it doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. Uh Huh. I could buy a headlamp now that I have the money, just so I have, like, light, but I kind of don't need it. I'm not really doing anything at night. I'm not, like, you know, not really making use of my nighttime, to be honest, so. Um, I kind of want to do spring cleaning, but I also kind of don't, if I'm being honest. Let's see. Oh, there's a sta- Oh, right, a drug runner. I forgot about this. Let me go do that. Take out this thing just in case of the mutants. If there's any controllers, I'm scared. Uh, this school sucks. Just wanted to throw that one out there. Oh wow, I missed. There's, there's, I'm sorry, but... There's literally, like, zero way that that hit me. <laughs> that, he didn't. Like, I'm sorry, he did not hit me. Hate to be the guy that br breaks it to the, to the fucking, you know, jury or whatever, but that homeboy did not hit me. Use the fence. It's still morning, so I need all the leg I can get. There we go. Hell yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. Legally obligated to say that. Don't do not do drugs. Which one's more? Six, seven. I might as well just use the flesh. These zombies can't find a way to get to me, and it's actually really funny. We have not used our pistol to any extent yet, so let's shoot the zombies. We have barely used this pistol. I want to make use of it. Ooh, that's a good find. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna... My arm is damaged, ain't it? No! There's a chance I'll be discovered now. You're not dead, are you? No. Now you're dead. Okay, well, I discovered the Psy field. I can't believe that Snork, like... I'm so... I always say I'm... Oh, I'm so mad about that. I'm mad about everything. There's really no artifact here? Ooh, a little, a little sketchy. There's no artifact here. That's so lame. Uh, 
There it is. What the hell is this thing? I'll take that. That seems pretty cool. <laughs> There's that. This that. And, uh, I'll do some of that. Uh, take all that. All right, cool. That's literally one point below. Let's go for a double barrel. Who cares? Who cares? I'll come back and do that later. Or, you know, it'll probably get done, like, by itself, honestly. So I'm not really too torn up about not doing that right now. Detector's not picking up anything. All right, let's go ahead back, turn that in for freedom. Also, it's going to be a shorter episode today. It's probably going to be only an hour long instead of an hour and a half. So for those of you who made it this far into the video, thinking it was an hour because I died and the series is over, well, you know, congratulations. I'm letting you know early that's not the case. To further explain the reason why... Who are you? The reason why I'm uh, also doing it a little shorter is because I... Started recording really late tonight, and you know, this is going up on Thursday, so it's Wednesday at the moment. I'm not gonna lie, work has been fine, truthfully. But you know, it's also I've had kind of I'm you know I'm struggling to squeeze everything together. You know what I mean? So you kind of just have to bear with me. I'm still trying to upload, I'm still trying to find, you know, times that work for me. I'm still going to do a stream every weekend, at least one stream of a game of my choosing. Most likely, like, Tarkov, maybe Arena Breakout. Um, a great viewer of mine suggested we do an Anomaly uh, run stream exclusive. I'm more than down for that, that seems really fun. I haven't really played Anomaly at all, I've, oh, I've only played Gamma. I've only seen videos on Anomaly, but it looks really fun, honestly. It looks more casual, it looks more like, you know, you're playing just open world stalker with a few things different. Gamma is the hardcore, you know, Tarkov game everyone likes to complain about online, like, you know, all the superheroes of Reddit that think they're, you know, they put on their thinking caps and they're like, Gamma ha! That's not the true stalker experience. Go play your Tarkov clone. It's like, yes, listen, I've played the entire stalker trilogy. So, I can't, if I play Gamma, I'm no longer a true fan. Is that what it is? I think I've talked about this before, but it's so, I hate people like that, honestly. Like, just let people enjoy the game. There's no fans of Stalker. They're getting into your arguably niche game series. Like, let them. As long as they're not being really annoying about it, let them. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. No gold stashes. Damn it. What's this? Oh, there's a redemption in Red Forest? Wait. Oh, it's turning it in. Okay, never mind. Gold stash! I, I, I have expert tools, so it doesn't really do anything for me, but eh, I appreciate it. I'll take that. Take that. So directly south is raw stock, which, you know, we're not going to. Spoiler alert right now. What I could do is I could see if I can fix up the armor. I doubt it, because I need to go back to Red Forest to check out what uh, what parts it needs, and I don't think I have. Let me check. I have 50 mil, 40 layered, whatever. So that actually will put it up quite a bit, but I don't think it's good enough to start repairing it with like a uh, this, for example. If it is, that, I mean, that'd be great, but... Uh, we'll see real quick. Let's see. Let's see what we're working with. So if we replace... I have that heavy toolkit. Alright. So if 
we do this, we do this, we do one of these, that's 27, we do one of these, that's 37, no, no, no. It's not enough, it's not good enough. Put it back, wait, I'm sorry, what's my coat made of? I kind of want to keep it, it's like, you know, it's like a, a, a memento at this point. What a good coat, what a good starting armor that is, like, unironically, that's such a good starting armor. Let's see. Um, put that away. I said put uh, really. Okay. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It has like three armies in it. Come over here. Hey, stalkers, чем пожаловал? Hey, ты, кончай um, let's see, what am I putting away in here? That... Actually... Oh, I gotta be very careful. Touching the armor. Yeah, look, see at the bottom? The little equal sign? That, that, e that means suspicion. That's what that means. No way. Okay, I gotta go somewhere where there's not a lot of people. I'm gonna go to this one over here. One of the barracks. Sire Storm and a uh, emission. Surprising. All right. Well, you know, we're again, we're gonna treat it just the same as an emission. We're kind of gonna just sit this one out. Oh, fun fact! I know I said in my freedom video, this little room. This is where my uh, base was. It, this is where my base is, actually, in my uh, casual playthrough. So this whole room, I actually kind of decked out a little bit with decorations. Fun to say that. Anyways, I'll see you after the emission ends. Or the side storm. All right, that was quick. Side storms are quick though, which is honestly great. Thank God they're quick. Missions take forever and they're extremely loud. <laughs> um, so what are we what are we doing here, right? What, what's going on? What's the plan? Because, you know, we don't really have one at the moment. Our plan was kind of come south and see, see how that went. <laughs> uh, it's going kind of it's going kind of good. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, get rid of that. I don't know. I don't need that. Cool. Alright, well, money is now not an issue, which is fantastic. I just have to keep make sure everything I have is upkept, basically. I would like to upgrade my, um, my PDA to this one. And eventually I want to get uh, the mil spec PDA, which this is a mod. This is only like this because uh, it's a mod. It's a, it's an additional mod, and I don't know why I know the recipe for it right off the bat. I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell you. So that's just there for letting you know. I do want the Savarog detector. Or the, what is the, what is better? Isn't it the Savarog is better? I don't remember. Regardless... Let's go do something else, I guess. What's this? Oh yeah, that glitch. Nah, that's fine. Um. Oh, oh, mission updated. Secure the base. All right, <laughs> great. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um. What's this? Oh right, I forgot about this. So scattered, Brad. So scattered, Brad. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, meander on over to uh, Dead City, and we're probably gonna call it there. Like I said, a little bit of an early uh, end to the episode, but it's one of those things where it's late at night. I got re I recorded a little bit later than I actually wanted to. 
so we're just gonna we're just gonna make it a uh, short one shorter one still fun though still some new stuff happening who are you i said who are you that's a bandit the game will like try its absolute damnness to not tell me that it is so uh, uh next time what we're gonna do is we are going to uh we're gonna go to Lamansk. We're gonna collect those documents at the gold stash. And we're just, you know, we're gonna bring them back. But I'm also curious what the gold stash has inside of it as well. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Yeah, that's right. The power of the KS-23, it's so badass. I love this gun. This gun is a beast. Like, unironically, an absolute beast of a weapon. The ghosts. These little guys are harmless, basically. Just don't get close. Like, no shit, but like, you know, some people don't understand that concept. I just don't lose stamina with Lucifer, do I? However, it's been uh, it's been a second since I've found any artifacts, so that is a problem. But we're gonna go to Lamansk. I don't think Lamansk really has artifacts either, to be honest. But hey, you know, could be worse. If I didn't do all that artifact hunting uh, last time, oh my god, I'd be in trouble by now. I'd probably be below 50%, which literally removes all the bonuses of that artifact. There's also a bunch of anomalies here that don't have any artifacts associated with them. That kind of sucks. I think my detector's busted. I gotta go get a new one. Let's meander around Dead City, seeing if we can find any last minute artifacts. Oh! Come on, motherfucker. Uh, what? Where's my gun? Bitch. Well, that sucks. Why am I leg again? Really? Like seriously? Leg again? For what reason exactly does it have to be my leg every time? My armor got damaged again. God damn it. No, not five. Pull the bolt. <laughs> Drink some water to quell my. Do I have anything else? I have a coffee? Yeah, I'll just let it pass. I'm not gonna waste the water. I pressed space thinking I could take all. I didn't realize it was search. That city's a cool place, though. I really like it. While I'm on the topic about maps, let me uh, give you a little bit of a uh, cool uh, fun fact before we end the episode. Did you know that the reason Darkscape is called Darkscape is because originally uh, in Shadow of Chernobyl, Strelik was supposed to drive a car out of Dark Valley to that map, have a helicopter chase with the military, and then end up back in Cordon? Sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Well, here's what happened. <laughs> um, that's why the map's called Darkscape. Dark Escape. You're escaping from Dark Valley. That that's the that's the map name. That's it. Like there's there. That's why it's called Darkscape, and that's why it's a big, big ass stretch of land that goes nowhere and that has barely anything there. 
that's why it's called that. Also, fun fact, Darkscape is my least favorite map in the game. I think it sucks. Jeez, it, it's for... It's for, uh, Car Escape. Literally. So, you know, it doesn't need to be interesting. It just needs to be to drive a car through. Anyways, that's my uh, fun fact for the day. I'm gonna end the episode here, just in this little area. Just shy of an hour, I believe. Um, maybe not after the edits, I'll have to see. So, with that said, everybody, thank you so much once again for supporting me and the series. Next time, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lamansk and get that yellow stash, see what's going on with it, do some quests uh, here. We are now undercover. We're undercover, south of the barrier, finally. Look at that. They're just doing my job for me. That's amazing. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for all the support, as per usual. I'll see you this weekend for the stream. If you want to show up, please be there. It's typically going to be late at night, probably uh, Saturday, 7 to 7 or 8 p.m. So come check it out. I'll be right here on YouTube. With that said, everybody, it's been me. Have a good rest of your day, night, evening, afternoon. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.